Hi, everybody. So I suppose that we should, oh, bad. Um, exactly, that is, that is a good idea. So uh, if you use a small terminal, please uh, either detach from the terminal, because you see uh, it is, um, yeah, it is better, better, better. Oh, exactly, exactly. Could you, oh, guys. <laughs> So please, please do it as, as uh, big as possible, so we can um, use the wall, the wall, the wall um, screen, right? Or otherwise, I should uh, detach you. Yeah. Okay. I think it should it should work now. Or have I detached someone? Sorry. So if you want to see the screen, the screen on your laptop, uh, you can run SSH with these arguments, and it will be translated to transmitted to your laptop. But uh, as I said, please, please try to uh, use um, big terminals. Otherwise, we have this problem. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. So uh, let us continue. I will, I will speak uh, probably English because we. <laughs> Guys, who, who, yeah, thank you. Um, okay, if you don't mind, I will, I will speak English. But uh, in this uh, question section, you can speak German as well as English. It doesn't matter. Okay, so a couple of words about myself. So I'm a developer, a software developer. A uh, big fan of Linux, a big fan of uh, Terminal, um, and big fan of um, the things that I have listed here. So it is um, Bash. Oh, OK. So it, it will not work this way, I think, yeah? OK, so let us, let us do it. Uh, OK, I will check it, change it, uh, sorry. Um, It was a bad idea, probably with SSH. Okay, um, <laughs> a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay. So now I can continue. Um, so. I'm a big fan of Terminal, and I would try to uh, do everything that I can do in Terminal and don't leave it as much time as possible. But, um, well, I would say that it is almost always possible um, except one task. If I need uh, a browser, it doesn't work. So I mean in Terminal. Of course, I'm aware of uh, things like Linux, Alinx, uh, W3M, and other console browsers, but uh, that is not the same as... Um, a real GUI browser, and it is not satisfying experience for me. So uh, that is why I thought, oh, could I probably fix the prog problem somehow? Uh, would it be possible to implement some solution for this problem? For this problem? And um, uh, that is how uh, this idea of console-oriented services uh, was born. Well, I don't know, probably you have already used uh, them, and you have small... Um, experience with the services. Uh, have anybody f of you used uh, services like Weathering or Cheat uh, SH or QR dot and code uh, before? Yeah, just raise your hands. Okay, so, okay, okay. So, okay, almost everybody, uh, not bad. Uh, <laughs> good, so let us continue. Uh, I cannot say that it was the first um, service that um, the first console-oriented service um, whether in, but at least it was the first, uh, the first um, content-rich console-oriented uh, console services service. Maybe you have used um, other services before. For example, if config.me uh, to check your current IP address, you know, yeah, you can just do. Wait, let us try. You can do something like. This, or there are other services, and no, nothing works. Wait, maybe some of them. Oh, okay. At least this one. So you can uh, 
issue this comment in uh, your terminal and you will get your um, external IP address. So I would say that this service uh, is older than uh, WeatherIn. But uh, there, are, there were not so many uh, services uh, like that before. So, so I have created this service uh, and um, and the idea, uh, the basic idea behind the service is that you can get uh, some weather report or some weather information about your current location or about, you, about any location you want. So to do that, you can just try uh, to run curl weather in, yeah, in your console, and you will get this this weather uh, report in your console. For, for your current location, if it is possible to locate, uh, to, to base, uh, to, to uh, understand where exactly you located, to, so to, to do geolocation. If it is not possible, then uh, as default location is used, uh, this uh, city, Oimekon, it is the most, the, mo the, coldest, the coldest city in the world. So usually it is, well, I don't know. Now, for example, it is one uh, degree centigrade there. But uh, in the winter, it is minus, I don't, I don't know, minus 50 or something like that. But uh, you can, you can uh, add a location name. Um, yeah, sorry. Sorry. Uh, you can add location name as a, 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 as a query, and you will get um, a weather report for any uh, part of the world. So even for strange places like... I don't know, Zugspitze. I mean, it is not strange, but it is not a city at least. Oops, Zugspitze. But in this case, if, you, if it is not a city, uh, this location, you have to add tilde uh, before the name. So you see. It supports many other formats. For example, you can specify GPS coordinates, you can spe specify um, airport codes, zip codes, and uh, so on and so on. So you can read more about this project on the project site, uh, or basically on the project, project page uh, on GitHub. Uh, I can say that this uh, project was extremely successful and I didn't um, even, so I wasn't ready for, for that success. I was really impressed and somehow um, embarrassed uh, with uh, this success. So uh, I understood that this idea was Consolidated services was uh, a good idea, was the right idea. So I, ca I have continued with it, and I have created several other services and even um, framework for creating such services. And I will talk about the services and about the framework now. So let us continue to the next one. Uh, the next one is um, QR encode. So if you want, to, so what is your favorite method uh, of? So what do you do if you want to transfer some text from your console on your smartphone? I don't know if you tried uh, to do it before or not. Uh, so usually people answer, okay, I use emails or I use, I don't know, Jabber or I, I use some, some um, messenger for that. But um, the problem is that you have not installed, so I mean uh, that this uh, client, your client, is not installed everywhere. And if you use some remote machine, for example, and you want to transfer the text from that machine on your smartphone, it will not work. So uh, my idea is to use QR codes and uh, just convert any text that you have into QR code and scan it with your smartphone and you have immediately have it on your smartphone. But again, the problem is that we have to install this uh, QR code library or a QR code uh, uh, program to convert um, text into QR codes. Uh, would it be possible uh, to do it with uh, console services? Yes. So you, you can just write curl. So for example, let us imagine that you want to transfer, uh, to transfer some URL uh, from your console on your uh, smartphone. So you just write QR encode before the text and Oh, sorry. QR and code, and it will be converted uh, converted in, into a QR code. So you can try to scan it with your uh, smartphone, and you will see that it is uh, Google Com. Uh, it is even more than that. You can transfer any text you want. Uh, the thing supports um, post requests, so you can uh, transfer uh, transfer, for example, some file, uh, so pipe some file into curl and convert it. Uh, directly, uh, but in this case, 
well, the picture can be really big, I would say. So let us try. Oh, sorry. Maybe it is faster to write the query directly. For example, let us transfer cut, uh, so etc password. Uh, it, it has no passwords. It, uh, it is not yet a shadow. <laughs> oh, it is really big. But let, uh, let us, let us, <laughs> sorry, it is too big. But let us take uh, just uh, 10 lines. Okay, 10 lines of uh, the file. Uh, if you try to scan it with your smartphone, you will get my uh, ETC password there. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let us continue. Another thing, uh, it is a new one. Uh, I don't know how many of you have already used some cryptocurrencies. Uh, if you use them, if you have uh, a couple of bitcoins, you probably want to know uh, the price of them. Uh, so I have created a um, service that will uh, show you the price of this uh, things of, of different cryptocurrencies, actually uh, of all cryptocurrencies you have. By default you have um, 10 of them, but you can show any. And what is even better is then you can track uh, how the price uh, changed. For example, you, for, it is for Ethereum for today. So it is current price uh, for Ethereum and how it was changed uh, during the last day. But you can enter any other uh, time interval. So for example, let us take one month. Okay, that is for the last uh, four weeks or for one month and uh, so on. So I will not um, tell about all features that this site or the service has. So you can ch check the project page. Um, but uh, the point here is that we can use console not uh, uh, only for text information, but for some graphical information too. So that means that console has much more, uh, much more uh, features that people usually think. Okay, and the next one that is my favorite because. Uh, so the first three projects were just toy projects, I would say, so just for fun. And this thing is really useful. I use it every day, all the time, when I'm programming. So, uh, actually, if you think about um, uh, um, that question, so what site or what, inter yeah, what internet site uh, are you using most of your time in browser? You will probably answer uh, I don't know, Google or, I mean, if you are a pro programmers, you will answer probably Google or Stack Overflow or something like that, yeah? Because you want to um, find some useful um, code pieces or some, some answer on some technical uh, questions. And it would be really great to have some uh, service that could answer uh, the questions without leaving uh, the console. And I have created it. So let us try. So. Uh, for example, you want to know uh, which command line options some program has. And I mean, not all of them, because if you want to know all of them, you just write manual man and then uh, name of the command. But usually you need some of them, the most, uh, the, most, the most popular. So let us take some program as an example. What, what would you suggest? No ideas, okay. Then let us take tar, for example. So if you uh, write this query, curl, cheat, sh, cheat, you can write it without e, so I mean this short version of the URL, uh, and uh, name of the command you will get uh, cheat sheet for, for, for this uh, command. Uh, you can try any other command, for example, cp or ls or whatever, or I don't know, lv create. So, it was uh, the original version of this service. But after that, I thought, okay, probably I should add some features for programmers. So documentation not only for uh, command line users, but for programmers. So would it be possible to, uh, well, I don't know, get information about Python. So for example, Python, and then, well, I don't know, how we zip lists. Yes, it is possible. So you just write Python, or any other language you want, 
okay, maybe not any other language, but uh, we support 50 languages at the moment. And uh, things that you want to, to have. So for, in this case, zip, zip lists, yeah? Let us try something else. Okay, the same query for Clojure, for example. Okay, that is how we do it in Clojure. Yeah, you can uh, have this answer without comments because maybe you don't need comments, you just want to see how it looks like. Okay, so you can switch the comments off with this thing. Um, so I, I, um, if you want to understand how this uh, service works, uh, we can talk about it after, after the talk. And it was really cool how it works. So I, as I say, I um, use it every day, many times a day when I'm programming. Because you can find any uh, answer on any question you need. So let us continue. How popular are these projects? Well, as I said, I was really surprised to have so many, so many followers, so many uh, users uh, after, after I have released the first project, Weathering. So just to uh, understand it better, just for better understanding. So the project has um, more than 4,000 stars on GitHub and uh, it has, well, it processes more than one million queries daily. Weather in and other projects, for example, Rate Six, they are also quite popular in uh, different. So I mean, in um, uh, this area. So I, for example, in cryptocurrency uh, scene. And um, what what do I want to uh, say with it? Not uh, that the services are cool. Yeah, they are, they are cool. That's right. But uh, what is really cool is this approach. So you can create. Uh, the services on your own, you can try this method and you will see that many users will use them. Uh, what advantages uh, uh, do the services have? So, comparing to browser, uh, they are really fast. So you will get the answer on your qu uh, question on a query in a couple of milliseconds. So usually it, 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 it is 100 milliseconds or even uh, few. Uh, fewer. Uh, it is. It doesn't need anything uh, except your, except curls. That means that you can run it on Raspberry Pi or whatever. And because of uh, the interface, it is really good integratable. So you can integrate it in Vim, in Emacs, or in other uh, programs you want. Compare it to the command line tools. Uh, the main advantage, of course, is that you don't need to install the thing. So you have. Um, uh, you have them everywhere, so you can just uh, start curl uh, service name and you will get uh, what you want. And for the developers that uh, will develop uh, services like that, uh, I uh, am sure that you, if you develop services like that, they will be popular, really popular as, as these services uh, were or are. Uh, it is really you can develop them really fast because you don't need to think about some GUI problems and things like that. Because it is really easy to um, make a terminal interface or text-oriented interface. And uh, that is why it is good for prototyping. So uh, you can just try. So how do you create your own services? So first of all, you can, of course, check the, service, the existing services on my GitHub. But uh, the most important thing uh, that will uh, help you is uh, the... the, the, the um, framework that I have created for it. So uh, you can just um, download it and configure and add your program there. And it, after maybe one hour of experiments, you can uh, put your <coughs> service online. It supports many uh, backends, oh sorry, frontends, uh, ANSI for terminals, HTML, PNG, and it solves many tasks that I have sold uh, for these services. If you need my help, if you want to work uh, with, uh, on services like that, you will create um, something like that, you can just contact me. Uh, you can follow me uh, in Twitter. It is my Twitter account. Uh, it is used basically uh, for announces uh, of such services. So if uh, you um, want to g get updates about them, just follow me and um, see what we with uh, other guys will do and publish in the next time. And as I said, you can contact me and speak uh, with me about um, uh, your 
your ideas. And I will help, help you with implementation, with implementation and with hosting if you need some hosting. Good, that is everything that I want to tell, tell, tell you today. Thank you very much, vielen Dank. Well, if you have any questions, just ask. Please raise your hand if you have any questions. Yes. Um, so I tried curling them with HTTPS. So why doesn't that work yet? Or maybe. Uh, what service? Uh, all of them, I think. I tried uh, better that in. I think so, that whether in supports HTTPS, but uh, with a uh, self-signed certificate, and we have to add, uh, well, I don't know, some certificate from Let's Let's Encrypt or something like that. It is planned. I hope that it will be uh, done in a couple of days. Thank you. Next question. I think we have... Uh... No? Okay, our video mix angel has a question. Hi. Um, I had thought about the GDPR and the QR encode service. Oh, oh, sorry, once again? Uh, the, the GDPR regulations and your QR and code service, where you have the option of uh, saving uh, data that people want to uh, encode? Uh, well, it <laughs> I, don't, I, I didn't think that it, it was a problem, actually. So, um, I mean, if uh, we have some... Uh, problems with this, I, I can, I think that we will regulate it. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Thank Same, you very thank much. You, thank you once I again. hope you've inspired a lot of developers to go home and create their own call services. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very much.